I'm Chris Cowan, an Associate Professor of Psychiatry at Harvard Medical School and Director of the Integrative Neurobiology Laboratory at McLean Hospital. And I'm Laura Smith, a Postdoctoral Fellow in the Cowan Lab. In our laboratory, we're interested in the molecular mechanisms involved in neuronal connectivity during brain development, particularly as it relates to autism and intellectual disability, and in the adult brain as it relates to psychiatric illnesses such as drug addiction. In the findings reported in this issue of Neuron, we implicate the Fragile X Mental Retardation Protein, or FMRP, as a critical mediator of both behavioral and synaptic changes induced by chronic cocaine exposure. FMRP is an RNA binding protein that binds to a subset of neuronal transcripts, often stabilizing and or transporting them to synaptic regions. In many cases, it represses translation of these transcripts until group 1 metabotropic glutamate receptor signaling triggers their release and then allows for rapid local protein synthesis. FMRP also functions downstream of the MEF2 family of transcription factors in a process of activity-dependent synapse elimination. Interestingly, in the nucleus accumbens, a critical brain reward region, MEF2 regulates cocaine-induced changes in behavior and spine density. Therefore, we sought to test whether FMRP is also involved in cocaine-induced plasticity. Repeated exposure to drugs of abuse, including cocaine, induces maladaptive, long-lasting changes in behaviors that may have relevance to addiction. One such behavioral adaptation called locomotor sensitization develops over the course of repeated cocaine exposure and can be extremely persistent even following extended withdrawal. We found that moderate and high-dose cocaine exposure elicited impaired behavioral sensitization in FMRP deficient mice, which emerged only after repeated exposures and not in response to lower cocaine doses. In addition, the locomotor deficits were dissociable from enhanced stereotopy, which did develop in the FMR1 knockout mice, but only at the highest dose administered. Using conditional knockout techniques, we were able to show that FMRP mediates locomotor sensitization via a role in the adult nucleus accumbens. We also measured cocaine reward behavior using a condition place preference paradigm. In this assay, mice are administered cocaine and saline in unique contexts and on test day, they will typically spend more time in the cocaine-paired side. Similar to locomotor sensitization, we observed a dose-dependent deficit in Fragile X mice, which importantly was not due to learning and memory impairments. In contrast to sensitization, FMRP does not mediate this behavior via a role in the adult nucleus accumbens. To test whether FMRP mediates cocaine-induced synaptic plasticity in the nucleus accumbens, we repeated our sensitizing cocaine dosing paradigm at the moderate dose that elicited robust sensitization and strong differences between wild type and FMRP deficient mice. 24 hours later, we then examined structural and functional synaptic properties of medium spiny neurons within the nucleus accumbens. We speculated that synaptic changes underlying expression of these drug-induced behavioral changes should be present at this short-term time point we observed three surprising results. The first surprising finding was that wild-type mice showed no changes in structural or functional nucleus accumbens synapses following cocaine treatment at this dose and time point, despite the development of robust locomotor sensitization. These findings suggest that net changes in structural and functional synapses in this region are not required for short-term expression of this behavior. The second surprising result was that knockout mice treated with cocaine did show a strong enhancement in both of these measures, despite reduced behavioral sensitization, which suggests that such synaptic changes are either dissociable from or oppose the behavior. These synaptic enhancements that we observed in Fragile X mice were reminiscent of alterations that appear in wild-type rodents after longer-term withdrawal, and so may represent a precocious induction of drug-induced synaptic changes in the absence of FMRP. Lastly, in FMRP-deficient mice, we observed deficits in presynaptic function of glutamatergic inputs into the nucleus accumbens shell, 
For now, it's unclear how this treatment-independent condition may influence both behavioral and synaptic alterations observed following chronic cocaine exposure. In rodents, experiences such as motor learning and whisker trimming alter synaptic connectivity by influencing both the strengthening and formation as well as the weakening and elimination of synapses. Our data suggests that during the normal development and short-term expression of cocaine-induced locomotor sensitization, mechanisms promoting strengthening and formation of synapses are counterbalanced by mechanisms supporting synapse weakening and elimination. Consistent with the known role of fMRP in these latter processes, mice lacking this protein show precocious net synaptic enhancements at this behaviorally relevant withdrawal time point. Taken together, our findings suggest that fMRP plays a vital role in the development and expression of multiple cocaine behaviors, including drug reward and persistent motor adaptations. As such, uncovering fMRP's specific molecular role in addiction-related behavioral and synaptic plasticity might lead to new treatment strategies for substance abuse.